Hey everyone! Today for Stonehearth's Desktop Tuesday, let's take a closer look at the performance upgrades that engineer Justin has added to the Cubemitter in Alpha 20. For a long time now, we've heard from you that the game can start to stutter when night falls, and all the lights, and fire pits if you're lucky enough to have multiple, turn on. We've also seen slowdowns in games that have stockpiles full of talismans or worse, rotting food. All of these performance issues stem from the fact that our particle VFX system, the Cubemitter, was written in-house by Chris, and while it is fantastic flexible, can be authored and updated in real time, and easily produces everything from fire to water to magic effects, it can consume a lot of memory very inefficiently. When Justin started on the team during the development of Alpha 20, Chris asked him to take a look at what could be done to make the cube meter more efficient and cause the game to stutter less. He figured it would be a great way for Justin to begin to get into the rendering and engine code as well as knock off a performance optimization we've been meaning to make for years. One of the things that Justin looked at was the fact that when the cube meter is running, it's constantly asking the computer to give it a bit more memory so that it can create more cubes to show on screen. Memory allocation is one of the most expensive operations you can ask of an operating system, so if it's happening a lot across hundreds of cube meters, you'll see a continuous stutter as the computer parcels out more and more memory to the game. Another problem this creates is that of memory fragmentation. When Stonehearth starts, the operating system tries to grant the game one large continuous piece of memory to work with. Every time we create an object in the game, we use up a little bit of this memory. To prevent the game from running out of memory, we have to delete chunks of memory that we're no longer using, so that other objects can be written and saved there. Because the amount of memory requested for each cube is so small, the memory space of the game becomes divided into thousands of little slices when running a cube meter. When the cube meter is released or destroyed, like when the fire pit goes out, we have to delete all these thousands of slices one by one, which takes a long time. To fix both of these problems, Justin now pre-calculates how many cubes a cube meter will need and allocates all of them up front. This means that the game will stutter less because we won't constantly be asking the computer for more memory while we're running the effect, and the game will also be more efficient about cleaning itself up afterwards, because all the memory will get cleaned up in one chunk instead of thousands of little chunks. In order to test the efficiency of his changes, Justin created this test world, which has sample cube meters from every part of the game. Hearthling and Goblin Fire Pits, the coal effects from the Blacksmith's Forge and Raya's Children Tier 2 Braziers, fire from Fire Arrows, water from the Fountains, and dust clouds from Poof Effects. He then made his performance and memory allocation changes and then ran the game through a memory profiler called VTune to get a sense of how performance and memory allocations worked at Alpha 19, before his changes, and then in Alpha 20, after his changes. As you can see from these screens, before Justin's changes, we spent quite a lot of time accessing memory, which is a function that's very slow. After his changes, our memory allocation time has gone down by a factor of 10, and towns full of lights and fires should perform a lot more efficiently. And that's it for this week! Try out the new performance fixes along with our happiness and combat changes in Stonehearth Alpha 20 which you can find on Steam, and let us know how it's treating you, both here in the comments or on our forums at discourse.stonehearth.net. You can also join us for our weekly development stream on Thursday of this week at 6pm PST. See you there, or see you next week!